Ah, oh, seriously, what am I doing with my life? Have I ever mentioned to you that I really hate this course that I'm doing at university, but in the same breath it's opening my mind up to new possibilities and ideas that I never thought possible? Look at the state of the weather. It might not be the course, it might just be the people that run it and the people that are in the art world. I really dig the pure idea of art and what it is, but the majority of artists that we speak to and get lectured by and see around the university have either lost their way or never knew what it was in the first place anyway, and that annoys me. Good morning, Beverly. Do you agree with me? holding your penis first thing in the morning. <laughs> you look like you slept very well or had nightmares. I'll see you downstairs. I'm going for breakfast and to make lunch and stuff. Who's up down here? Is Gemma here? No. Anyone in the living room? No. Uh, well, that's a little bit weird. No one's here. I'm the only one down here. Oh, look at the state of it. We're in university today at 2.30 with all the other photography courses. We've got a visiting lecturer like every single Thursday. Morning Gemma, are you ready for university? Yeah. I'm going to go in early. Want to come in early? Yeah. I'm going to go upstairs and see if Bev's ready. Is she out of bed yet? No. Oh, Beverly's not feeling too well today. She says she's going to stay at home. Oh, first lecture you've missed in a year and a half. Beverly thinks she's got tonsillitis. I think she's got man flu and is secretly hiding a penis down there. That looks like a laughter line to me. <laughs> bye 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 bye, I'll take notes for you, see ya. Beverly's not coming in today so it's just us to the dark room. It's absolutely nasty out there, isn't it? I think Beverly had the right idea staying in bed today, it's horrible out. I'm going to be boring you again today by putting that silly colourful ticket date stuff onto photo paper again in the dark rooms. Hey, John Pitton! <laughs> And do you know what I feel about it? I don't feel like it's work, I feel guilty about the whole thing. I feel like I'm playing down there, even though it's part of my project. And as photo artists, we're taught that this sort of thing's allowed and this is what we should be experimenting in, but I feel so bad about it. I need to do something scientific and with proper ideas and ideology, and this is just ridiculous. Do you know how I feel? No, you don't. Oh, I'm talking rubbish, aren't I? You're sitting there thinking to yourself, Sam, shush. Gemma! Yeah. Do you want to tell people about your project? Because you've got a request, haven't you? Oh, I have. I need scans of love letters. You need what? Scans of people's love letters. So you're asking people for scans of their love letters and you want them to send them to you, yeah? Yes. Okay, so just leave a message below if you've got something that you can send to Gemma so she can use it for her project. I'd be bloody surprised if anyone bit... <laughs> I'd be very surprised if anyone did, but if you're going to leave a message on the Facebook page or below or send a personal message or something like that, that'd be great. Thank you very much. My face hurts. I've got a cold sore developing, so I've just pulled over at a pharmacy to go and get some Zavirax. I'll be back in two minutes. Can you wait here with the car, please? Yes. Do you need me to pick up any Caniston Combi for you? No. <laughs> How about some herpes drugs or something? <laughs> here we go. That's what I need, I think. Do you think I should pick up a box of that for Gemma? <laughs> We've got a cold sore. £5.19, oh. Can't be bothered with miserable cows. Gemma, I just paid £5.19 for that. Look at it. Uh, it's there, I think, just around there. I'll get the tingle feeling, you know. Great, now I look like I've got rabies. I'm surprised there's that many people in uni at the moment. We've seen loads of people walking up to it. I think the majority of people would have the winter blues. That's some pretty naughty parking right there, Gemma. I shouldn't have done that. In cold weather, the best. I wonder if anyone's down here, Anthony or Lloyd or something like that. Thursday, 4th of November. I'm the only one going in there today. Here we go, back in here, this familiar looking machine that I was using all day yesterday. Not quite sure if it's the right thing I'm doing, but I'm going to carry on experimenting with those cylindrical printing methods. And today I'm using this very special object. So we take the film paper, don't worry, this is one that I did earlier. We chuck it in the middle there so it's like a cylinder. Then we get the colourful ticker tape and shove it down the middle, then expose the paper. I know I sound like a twat from Blue Peter. Yes, I probably am as well, but I'm going to have to do it because I've got to do something for this project. Right, let's do my first exposure. On we go, moment of truth. Bing. You see, I can't set this up before I look at it. And the big machine, let's wait for my print to come out. Are you doing any printing, Gemma? Ooh, pretty colours. Oh, Gemma's one didn't work. Show us, Gem. <laughs> look at my one. Oh, seriously, what am I doing with my life? 
This one just came out, it looks a little bit better, the colours go right across the page this time. It's lost all detail that was contained within the colour strips, obviously apart from the colour, but instead it's created this gorgeous little abstract of things dropping down here like that. I just keep staring at it, hoping that a spark of inspiration will come from somewhere. There's another one done which hasn't filled the page as much. What do you think YouTube? What do you see when you see this crap? Got another hour until our lecture starts. Look who's just walked in, that could only be one person with that lovely hair. Oh, I've got another one coming out. This one looks a little better. You see, when I shove more of the stuff inside the tube, I get this sort of effect. If I shove less, I get that sort of effect. Matthew, be honest with me. Is this the gayest thing you've ever seen or what? Jason would be proud. <laughs> Shall we finish up in 10 minutes, yeah? You look like that I'm mask bored. you got. Who? What? No, no, no. I look like a mask. No, 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 no. Do you get any good prints done? Wait for the last one to come out. Here it is! Any good? Oh, it's pretty! That's pretty cool, actually. Can you turn the light on, please, Matt? You can't find it? Yes, you can. <laughs> this room literally looks like a witness to genocide. I better pack up now and go to our lectures. All done, open the door, lights out. Bong. Oh, it actually does it. Yeah, out. yeah, turn it off. Lecture time! <laughs> I better be allowed to have my seat. Yeah. It's well busy in here, the lectures don't start for another half an hour. Look who I found here with his Macintosh, it's only Lloyd. How are you doing Lloyd, you alright? I'm fine, thank you, and you? I'm good, my furry little fellow, that's nice of you to ask. Yeah, the visiting lecturer today is called Laura Panic. she's uh, won a prize on the World Press Photos <laughs> Portrait Series. You're disgusting, man. The, our speaker is here, but she was delayed on her train, so... She's just walked in the room and oh my god, she's a kid. She's younger than me. She's the one over there standing next to the tutor. Matt, how old do you reckon she is? Twelve. You fancy her, didn't you? Tell us what you think about Laura Panic down there. Who's Laura Panic? The woman who's giving the talk. Oh, banging. <laughs> banging. <laughs> Electra time. Okay, <clears throat> thanks everyone. Thanks for your patience. Um, thank you so much for waiting. I'm really, really sorry about that. I'm really pleased to be here actually, um, and I was really fortunate this year, I won first place in the World Press Photo um, Portraits. Hi Anthony, how are you doing, you sexual menace? Do you enjoy that lecture? Yes, sir. Did you like the naked photos? Ooh, yeah. There were lots of naked photos. Did you like the naked photos? There were more men. Ooh, yeah. I want to go back downstairs and do some more experimenting in the dark rooms, I think. It was a totally packed lecture hall. Is everyone coming down then? Yeah. What are you doing down there, Andy? Working on the Epsilon? He's yeah. working on the big printer. What do you think of all this crap so far then, Bexy? Do you like it? I do like it, actually. I like that one. Which one? That one? Mm -hmm. Do you like my really cool original invention? I'm going to have to paint in that. I'm trying it with just one ID card strip now that I'm popping it down into the tube, which is a lot thinner than I've been doing before. So I've got it in there. Let's do a quick 10 second exposure. I've brought the bulb down as well. Boom. There we go. And it's in there. Recording paper right now, you see. Three, two, one. You must be getting a little bit bored hanging around by now, Jen. Only because it's raining, I want to lift down. I am so hungry at the moment. I don't think I can manage to stay much longer. It's five past four at the moment. I might go get some lunch. And what do we have here? We have something. It's all very red, though. Oh, what the hell is this? It looks like hell has opened up and spewed all over my photo paper. It's nice. I can't carry on doing this for much longer. I'm absolutely starving still. Unless this one inspires me to do more, I'm going to call it a day here. Here she comes. Uh-oh. I've got a question for you guys. Tell me, am I wasting my time? Even though I'm hungry, I've come up with a last minute idea. I'm just going to show you. Exposed piece of paper just to demonstrate, but we wrap the black bit of the strip over there like that. And the black bit has got the name and all the details and the barcode on it. And when it comes out, it comes out looking like this. And when it comes out like that, you can almost work out the number, the name, and the barcode. I'm going to call this one Matthew King's. Can we go home now? Yeah, in one minute. Hungry. I'm hungry too. Packed up, finished, bags full. I'm going to go and I'm going to steal the mug. Well, I'm not going to steal the mug. I'm just going to borrow it for a little while while I'm doing my project. Gemma, can you open the door, please? Lights! Ah! I'm so hungry, I could eat sweet corn at the moment. What the hell? It's dark outside. We're getting dark anyway. No, pitch black. Beverly, this is a little message for you. Hope you've had a nice day relaxing at home and you've got over your cold. I'm not very keen on this weather and this darkness malarkey stuff. I'm home and look who's there to greet me at the door. Hello Beverly, how do you feel? 
she goes, oh, okay. I don't believe this. I get home and what's waiting for me? Beverly with tea and sandwiches. Thank you very much. What do you think of my ridiculous artwork then, Beverly? No, I like it. It's very pretty. Look, that's a nice pretty one, isn't it? Oh, would that go nice up on the wall, would it? Oh, I'm going to sit down now and watch a bit of... Oh, the doorbell's gone. Who is it? Hello, Ben. <laughs> Why are you here? To go to the casino. And you want me to give you a lift? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Right, it looks like I'm going to be going to the casino with Benjamin tonight. It's day 304, 365. I shall finish the video there. I might let you know how we get on at the casino, though, at the end of the video. Uh, whatever. Bye. Speak to you later. See ya. Whee! We're at the casino now and you'll never guess who is here. Mark Williams, the snooker champion. It's amazing, we're playing with him. So, how many runners in the field were there? 47. How many are left? 16. Are you leading the pack? Not quite. You're nearly there though, aren't you? Probably. Going to win again tonight? Yeah, Ben's doing really well. He's sat over there somewhere. He's not on Mark's table yet. And I'm out. I've got my aces packed with some filthy little blonde egg slut. What's that? Oh, I just... Um, what? You're railing the bad. What's that? You're railing the bad. Oh, you can't go back. Of course I can.